And today I've got a really cool video. I am gonna show you how you can use your drone regardless of what drone you have as a handheld camera system. What's going on guys? My name is Dan Davis and I'm the course creator here on the Fearless Drone Academy, which is the ultimate online drone course for beginners. Now it's very obvious that a drone can capture amazing aerial photography and video, right? That's just a given. It's a drone, it flies in the sky, you can capture amazing clips. It's got a three axis gimbal. A lot of drones have 4K now, so the quality is phenomenal. But did you know that it's really easy to set this up as a handheld camera system. So the way you would set this up is you would remove the gimbal clamp first, that is a big one, make sure you've removed that so that the, the gimbal can move freely, it can jiggle around, it can do its thing. And then from there, you would power on the drone. So you make sure that all the propellers aren't obstructed or held on anything, because what will happen is during the boot up process, it kind of, like the propellers move a little bit. So make sure that you're not pressing or you know obstructing the propellers and then you would power it on in its folded state like this. So let's power it on, press once and let go and then press and hold. You'll see the little propellers move a little bit and now we're ready to go, there we go. So now the gimbal is ready to go, the camera system's looking with me as I'm looking, and now the unit is ready to go, it's literally that simple. And now all you have to do is put your controller on top. So you'd power it on as usual, power on the controller, power on the drone, and then you can literally just hold the controller on top. So what I found was helpful is you kind of imagine like cupping two hands like that underneath the drone, and then you just rest the controller on top and you've got a perfect setup to start filming whatever it is that you're doing in your environment. So one thing to keep in mind, you can use any controller. This one here, which is the DJI RC, it does have buttons on the back. So I found that when I was testing this out, I would occasionally tap the buttons. So either disable the functionality of the buttons, or for me, unfortunately, like the camera was like tilting down if I pressed the button. So what I found was I just kind of had a little bit of a gap between the drone and the controller. So instead of having it flush pressed up against the controller, I would kind of have like a tiny little gap like that. Still Still extremely usable, easy, and manageable like in terms of a workflow, it wasn't uncomfortable. So just a tiny bit of a gap. But if you do have, for example, this one, which is the DJI N1 controller, this one doesn't have buttons on the back. It's got a perfect little groove. So this one you can fit the drone on flush like that, straight against the body. And that's probably a better setup for most people because you don't have to worry about tapping the buttons. But regardless of what controller you have, even if you have the um, DJI RC Pro, same thing applies. You can pretty much set it up with any controller that you have available to you. Nice and easy to do. And then you have control of like the tilt wheel here. So you can tilt up the camera system. You can just kind of hold it and move the drone around. And it just works literally as a camera system on the ground. If you are a beginner in the drone space, maybe you're terrified to fly your drone, maybe it's your first drone, maybe you had to spend a lot of money and you're really fearful of crashing it, then I definitely have the perfect drone course for you. It's called the Fearless Drone Academy. I'm the course creator. It's something I've put a lot of my soul and energy into. I made sure that it's got everything you need to know, all the resources you need as a drone pilot all of those little kind of hacks and tips and insights that you need, especially starting out as a drone pilot, feeling a bit scared about flying your drone. So check out the Fearless Drone Academy. I will have a link below to check it out. It's well worth your time. And yeah, let's get on with the video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use this without any sort of like rig or mounting system, but I will have a link in the description below to check out all the different options on Amazon. There are a bunch of different ones out there. A lot for the Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro. There's a bunch for all the other mini drones. You can get Mavic 3 ones, Air 2S ones. Basically what they are is they're like mounting rigs that hold the drone. You can even get ones that hold the controller on top. And then it's a proper like camera system. So if you wanna spend a bit of extra money for it, then definitely go ahead and check out that link below. But just to test it out, I mean, you can do it right now. If you've got your drone, just test it out right now, set it up and just see how it feels. See if it's something that you could actually implement into your workflow and then just kind of go from there. If you want to upgrade and get a mounting rig, then relatively inexpensive. And like I said, I will have that link below. One of the major benefits of this idea is that you don't have to worry about matching the colors or matching the aesthetic of the video that you're capturing because you're not using like a phone and then your drone. You're not using a DSLR and then your drone. You're using the exact 
same camera system with all the same settings and you can make it look very, very similar. So that would mean that you could get clips of you walking along the ground doing, you know, whatever it is that you're doing on land, launch the drone and then get some different aerial clips and they're gonna match perfectly together, obviously depending on the lighting and if the weather changes and whatever else. But in most scenarios, as long as it's a sunny day, you're gonna be able to match up those clips nice and quickly and it's gonna look great. So what I did for this little video here is I wanted to set up a little bit of a kind of cinematic test where I was on the ground capturing different things and then launch the drone and then kind of match the clips together. I did kind of go between like selfie shots like this. You just gotta make sure you focus in on the controller. So make sure that you press and it's focusing in on you. And that would focus in on me as the subject. So I could kind of do some running shots. I could have it as a selfie kind of camera. And then I could set it up on the ground and utilize a controller as a remote like video feed. So if this was on the ground 20 meters away from me, I could walk away because the range is phenomenal obviously on a drone. I could walk away and then utilize the camera system from range. So I didn't have to worry about walking back and making sure the camera was framed and blah, 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 blah. I could literally just walk away, use this system. I could press if I wanted to focus on something, if I could see that it wasn't focused. I could use the tilting wheel and I can set up all the framing remotely from a relatively decent distance, right? Because these drones have got insane range on them. So that is one of the major benefits. You can set it up and create some fun cinematics. I will have the cinematic playing now over the video. It did fail a little bit for me because the motor on my Mini 3 Pro, one of them is destroyed for whatever reason it's stuck, it won't spin, couldn't launch the drone at all. So that stopped me from doing it, but I will add in some other clips from when I was filming in the same area. So it might look a little bit off. You will kind of get the idea of what I'm going for here. But imagine if you were filming on the same day, you could literally just do whatever you want, fly in the air, land it, start capturing while you're on the ground, and you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, I would say one thing though, with the Mini 3 Pro especially, this unit does overheat for some reason when it's on the ground. So keep that in mind. I found that when I was filming and I was walking around and there was enough airflow going through the system to cool down the internals, I found that that actually did a really good job. Like when I was filming in the city, I was walking around for ages just filming it, it never overheated on me. But I found that when I was stopped and kind of getting some slow clips and when I just left the drone on the ground as I was thinking about what I was doing, occasionally the drone would overheat. It happened to me the other day when I was also testing it as well. So definitely keep that in mind, like especially with the Mini 3 Pro, it does seem to overheat when it's just sitting on the ground. So make sure that you are moving and uh, make sure that you're prepared for your shot so that you don't have to wait for it to cool down and then film again. This won't be an issue for most of the other drones as they don't seem to overheat when they're just sitting on the floor. But yeah, just definitely something to keep in mind with the Mini 3 Pro. So like I said, you are getting a super reliable camera system. You're getting the gimbal, the three axis stabilized gimbal. You're getting 4K video depending on what drone you have, but most of them have 4K now. So really high quality video, stable footage, and you can also utilize slow motion in most cases. So with the Mini 3 Pro, I captured some cool little slow motion clips while I was in the city. Again, really handy, really easy. And you know, not every camera system is going to be able to offer you that. So to be able to have all of that in a handheld system is great. One thing I would love to see that isn't available is tracking functionality. Because imagine if I could like draw a box over someone that I'm tracking for a film or an object, and then I could just move the system and it would just follow that tracked object. That would be mint, unfortunately. You have to actually have the drone flying to be able to utilize the tracking. So that is one of the limitations that you're definitely missing out on when you're using it as a handheld device. If you are interested in any drones on the market, I do have some really cool exclusive bundles for my audience. These are available exclusively for Australian residents, anyone that's living in Australia or someone who's traveling to Australia, maybe you're planning on moving over here. This is the perfect bundle for you. This is exclusively through the D1 store. We've partnered up to create the ultimate drone bundle. So regardless of what you're looking for, if it's a Mini 3 Pro, if it's the Mini 2 SE, if it's a Mavic 3, whatever it may be, perfect bundle to play around with. Depending you know, on what your price point is, there is everything available for you. The drone course, the Fearless Drone Academy is also bundled in. So you're getting the ultimate online drone course for beginners. You're getting all of these amazing accessories. You're getting the drone, all the extra batteries and whatnot. It's a great bundle. Regardless, like I said, of what drone you're looking for, there's some awesome bundles. So check those links below. There's definitely something for you. And if you are interested in anything else, you can use the code DANCHTUBE on the D1 Stores website to play around with some other accessories and whatever else that you might be interested in. So this is definitely a setup that you should not overlook, especially because you can use different controllers, right? It doesn't matter what controller you have. You can set it up on top, or sorry, underneath like that, and you can hold it as a little camera rig. I did find a few people gave me some weird looks, but most people didn't notice it because it was such a little subtle setup. I had it close to my chest. You couldn't really tell. Definitely a few people noticed and kind of looked at me like, does this guy know that it's a drone? 
children, but most people were kind of like, okay, I, I, you know, they didn't even notice. They were doing their own thing. If they did notice it, they were kind of like, oh, okay, whatever, it's just a camera. They didn't really think too much of it, right? So quite a stealthy, discreet little setup. Definitely well worth your time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful. I hope there were some awesome insights and some cool things that you can try for yourself with your drone. Uh, I do appreciate all the amazing support and I will chat to you in the next video.